Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue on this video, the Buffalo Glue Burger. Let's get going. All right, we are going to kick this video off with about eight to 10 ounces of ground American bison. Just going to form a simple patty. Try not to pack this down too tight. And there we are, looking good. Let's move on to the next component, which I'm pretty excited about. All right, this is not a clone burger. I actually thought of this one all by myself, wandering aimlessly at the grocery store. And what I wanna do here is pay tribute to one of my favorite appetizers or pub grub, and that's the buffalo wing. But I wanted to do this burger without chicken. I wanted to use bison or buffalo. And this next component, I think, is going to really give it that buffalo wing vibe kind of thing. What I've done here is I've chopped up a sweet onion into about quarter inch rings. And I've marinated this overnight in this stuff right here. And this is Frank's Red Hot, and this is their wing sauce. So I'm kind of cheating a little bit, but it makes it easy. And this stuff's actually pretty good. What I have here is some potato starch. Now, you can use all-purpose flour. I think potato starch just kind of adds that extra crispiness. You can get this at Asian markets or you can find it online. And then I have here panko breadcrumbs. So we'll go ahead and take our marinated onion ring, give it a little bath, so to speak, in this breading here. I'm going to dip it back in the hot sauce, go ahead and cover this with a panko. And there you go, that's what we're looking at. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of these onions and then I will meet you out at the grill. Okay, the Weber's preheated. I've got my custom flat top insert in here along with the Cray Court cast iron skillet insert and I've got beef tallow in here, beef lard in here makes everything wonderful. So as far as seasoning these patties, I'm just going to go really simple with a little salt. I've got that Frank's Red Hot going on, so I don't really need much more heat. Put that on the flat top. A little bit more salt on the other side. Now we're going to get those onion rings going. These are looking insane. I'm gonna go ahead and get these on paper towel here. Have some good color coming up the side of this burger. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a flip. All right, I just have some regular old sesame seed buns. We're gonna go ahead and get a little bit of a toast on these. All right, now what I have here is some blue cheese, some crumbled blue cheese with some crumbled crispy bacon that I cooked up. I'm gonna go ahead and get this on top of the burger. That stainless steel lid thing, get a little water here. And there we have it, let's make a burger. Right, the first thing I'm going to do is just plate up some of these crazy onion rings here. We're going to lay down a little bit of green leaf lettuce. One slice of tomato. I'm going to get that insane bison burger on here. Couple of those onion rings down. Little ranch dressing. Some more of that Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce. And the top bun. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm speechless. This thing looks so good. First thing I need to try though. Wow. Would I be bragging if I said these were the best onion rings I've ever had? Count the days. There's going to be a bar serving these. I can tell you that right now. All right, let's give this a shot. And as usual, look at that. It's going to be messy. Wow. This thing is insane. It is good. It's basically screams pub grub. So much going on. You get that kind of vinegary heat from the Franks. You get that tartness from the blue cheese. The crispiness from the onion rings and that saltiness from the bacon. Just, it's just really, really good. I'm very, very pleased with this. Those onion rings, wow. I should have just did an onion ring video. Th those are good. Anyway, thanks again for stopping by. Keep those requests coming, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.